In this video, I will show you part one of how to create the simulation practice slide. Don't drop the ball. So let's first go look at the storyboard so we know what we have to do for this slide. So on this slide, the main layer, so the base layer or the main screen, will have caption instructional text that will say click on each ball in the proper order to simulate juggling three balls. And you can see here a screenshot of what the slide is going to look like. The avatar will be on the right hand side facing towards the left of the screen with one arm out as shown here. The caption with the instructional text will be right here. There'll be two buttons on the left hand side to show a hint. So that will be a separate layer that we'll create that will just give them a hint to throw the yellow ball, green ball, then blue ball. And there will also be a button called reset where they can reset the slide and start over again. Near the bottom of the screen, we will have three balls, a green one on the left, like this, and then the yellow and the blue ball on the right hand side with two hands coming up from the bottom. So this is depicted from the learner's point of view. So if they were standing right here, this, this is what it would look like from their perspective if they were juggling the ball. So that's why this slide is like a practice simulation slide. For the programming considerations, when the hint button is hovered over, we will show slide layer hint with the words yellow, green, blue. When the reset button is clicked, we will reset the slide back to its initial state and we will set this in the base layer slide properties. To make this slide work, we will insert circular hotspot areas where the balls will move toward when clicked along arc motion paths. So I'm going to show you how to do all that. And I'm going to break this up into two videos. So this is part one and then we'll have part two to show the second half just because I didn't want to make this one too long because it is a bit involved. So let's first go insert the title. I'm also going to delete this text box here since we don't need it. And the title of this slide is going to be simulation. Don't drop the ball. And let's now bold it and change the color. to the blue color we've been using. Okay. And now I'm going to copy an avatar from another slide as well as the caption so that we don't have to recreate that from scratch. So I'm going to go back to step five. Let's break it down and copy the avatar from there only because I think she's more the right size or closer to the size we want for our avatar for this slide. So here's step five. Let's break it down. Let's go here. I'm going to click on the avatar and then I'm going to hit control and then click on the caption. And let's go back down to the simulation slide here and paste these two elements in. Okay. So now I'm going to work with the avatar first. First, we're going to change her pose. So to do that, go to design, go to pose, and we're going to change her pose to have one arm towards the left. So we'll just scroll down here. So I think this is more what we want, something like this. So click on gesturing and you can see that she changes her pose right away. And then let's right click and go to size and position to change her size. So I'm going to set her size at 600 by 272 pixels. And then I'm going to set her position to 488 and 38. So 488 horizontal and 38 vertical. All right, so there we go. And let's just move this for a second. 
Now for the instructional text, I'm going to go to the storyboard and copy in that text that we need to replace here. And then I'm going to highlight this and go to paste special. So just the text, there we go. And I'm going to move this part here over this way. And then I'm going to just slide this over. Something like that. So you can just eyeball it, just adjust it until it's somewhat where you want it to be. We'll just have to make sure it's not in the way of anything else on the screen. So if we have to tweak that later, we can do that. And now I'm going to go insert the two buttons. So let's just go back to the storyboard so we can just see what we need to do. So I'm going to insert two buttons, one for the hint and one for the reset. So go up here to insert button and you can choose whatever style you want. I'm going to choose this one. I'm going to just draw that on here, something like that. And I'm going to make that, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it the default style one, custom one, just leave it like that or change it to another color if it matches better with your color scheme for your course. And then I'm going to type hint into the button. And let's just go check the size of that. So Right now it's bolded, it's size 14, it's white. I think I'm going to leave it. And then I'm going to copy. And the reason why I copied is just so that the next button will be the same size. And now I'm going to type reset. And I am going to change the color of this button. So go to format, button fill. So again, this is up to you, but I'm going to make it this pink color I've been using. And then of course it changes the text to black. So let's just go adjust that. All right. I think that's good. We can just leave it like that. Okay, now we're going to go create the arms that are going to pop up from the bottom. I know that may sound a little strange, but it's just to simulate how it would look from the learner's perspective when they're actually throwing these balls into the air. So let's just go to the storyboard again. And what we want to do is just kind of put two arms from the avatar down at the bottom. To do this, we can just copy the avatar and then crop the image and rotate it. So that's what we're going to do. There may be some trial and error involved with this, but just be patient and rotate it. And if you don't want to do that, you don't even have to do that. You can just put maybe a text box that says right hand, left hand, or something like that. So I'm just going to copy her and paste her here. Right, so I'm going to do the first one first and then I might be able to just copy her after. So I'm going to start by cropping the image. So go to format, go over here to crop, and we're just going to take away everything except for the arm that's sticking out right here. And then go back to crop. There we go. And now click on this to rotate. So that could be maybe the left one. So we might have to adjust that in a minute. I'm just going to leave it there. I'm going to copy this. And then I'm going to flip this. So let's flip horizontal. There we go. And now I'm just going to bring the hand down. So something like that. 
And now if you want to center it more on screen, we'll just bring it over here. Okay, so something like that, but we'll adjust it once we get the juggling balls in there. Okay, so now I'm going to copy in the juggling balls from another slide. So go back to step five, let's break it down. I'm gonna copy each of these in, so one at a time, just so I get the numbering right on the next slide, on the simulation side. So we want this one to be oval one, then oval two, and then oval three. It'll just make it easier when we're creating the triggers. So I'm gonna copy these in now. And now let's resize them. I think I want them to be a little bit bigger and we may resize the arms as well, just cause they're a little small. And if you wanna be really precise about it, if you like the size of this arm, again, just go to size and position and you can see it's 111, 111. So let's do that with this one. So we're almost there. Okay, so now they should be the same size. And let's make the balls 52 pixels by 52 pixels. So right now I believe they're 46, so just make them a little bit bigger. And we'll do that for each one of them. Okay, so we've resized the juggling balls and we have the hands here that we've resized. Now let's go back to the storyboard for a minute. And I just want to note the position of these balls right here. So when we start to juggle, we always will have two balls in our dominant hand. So for this simulation, I'm assuming that this person is right-handed, but if you were left-handed, you would do the opposite. So we have the yellow and blue ball here in the right hand and the green ball in the left because we will throw the yellow ball and then the green ball second and then the blue ball third. So I'm gonna just position the ball somewhat like this, but I wanna keep in mind that there's almost like a triangle here because we're going to create three hot spots. And the way that I did this before when I created a demo course before recording these videos, I had it so I had three hot spots, like right here in a triangle and then three hot spots here. And the yellow one would go to one corner of the triangle and then the blue and then the green, just to keep everything more organized. So I'll show you that in the next video. But for now, let's just place these. So we almost have it here, but I'm just gonna re replace these a little bit better. And we can always adjust this later. So I'm actually going to move the arms just slightly. So we have a bit of a wider area here. Okay, I think I'm going to leave that like this for now until we put the hot spots on there and then we can adjust it. So it'll be something like this. So that's all we're going to cover in this part of the simulation slide configuration. So in the next video, I will show you how to create the hotspots and create the triggers and the arc motion paths as well. <music>